And the last topic area that I want to talk about is one that's near and dear to you and to me. And that's how IT can rock the iPad in our organizations. For IT, we have tons of things we do every day, right? And there are lots of great apps for all different areas of our job. Say that part of our job is supporting a virtualized infrastructure. Well, you have VMware View, Citrix Receiver, and ThinkGrid that are available as apps on the iPad. What if you manage Cisco devices and you get in and, and mess with you know, Cisco switch configurations, that kind of thing. We have apps like Get Console that are great for that, and they even have a version of a cable that will plug into the dock connector on the iPad and plug into the console port on your Cisco switch. But in addition to that, we have reference material like iPowerShell, which is right here. And if I fire it up, it's a great free app from Sapien Technologies. And if I tap services, I can pick up a commandlet. And you'll see that it lists tons of PowerShell commandlets here. And I'll pick one. We're going to go ahead and pick Connect Mailbox. Right? And you'll see that it gives me all the great PowerShell help that I need. And this is a great reference. So you're you know, working on PowerShell and you have your iPad handy. You can be looking up, remembering what that commandlet was or what provider you need for a certain function. And along those lines, you have other IT tools like Mailscape for monitoring your exchange infrastructure or IT tools. This is probably another one of my most commonly used apps. And it allows me to do all that basic, you know, TCP IP troubleshooting, like I can do DNS queries or trace routes. But one of the most common things I do is, is test, you know, network connectivity by entering in an address and pinging it, right? And you can see that it's pinging away here. And I've got data such as my sent and received, my loss at the bottom. And I'm going to tap X to stop. And there we go. It's a great app. You can do so many things with it. And I use it every day in IT. But I want to talk about probably my favorite IT app, and that is, is Pocket Cloud. And Pocket Cloud is a remote control app that goes along with the other remote support apps you might use, like GoToManage or Splashtop, or even your other remote control apps like ISSH or ITAP. But Pocket Cloud is an app I use every day for connecting into my Windows-based servers. And it's from Weiss, and I'm going to open it up. I have the Pro version, which is paid, but there is a free version that you can get that doesn't cost anything. One of the major differences is that the Pro version allows me to save more than one configuration so I can get quick tap access to different servers, whereas with the free version, you can only save one connection at a time. But you see that when I open up the app, I'm at one of my save servers, and I'm going to show you what it takes to configure the app. So I'm going to go ahead and tap my computers and tap plus. I'm going to tap manual connection and RDP, we're going to tap nickname. And for this, I'm just going to, you know, name it whatever I want here and we'll call it test. Save that, host. We need to enter in the IP address of our server or the DNS name. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and enter in an IP address. Username, you can either enter in just the username or you can enter in the domain slash username format. In our case, let's go ahead and just enter it as a username. And we'll give it a password here. This is the password for your user account on the server. Now, since we didn't enter the username in domain slash username format, I'm going to put the domain here. This is my Active Directory domain name. In NetBIOS format, I'm entering it. So for resolution, you can tap in there. You can set a manual resolution, but I typically leave that at auto so that when I connect to servers with different resolutions, it just automatically sets the height and width for me. So I'll tap save. Come back. Color depth. You can go anywhere between 16 and 32-bit color depth. I tend to leave it at 16-bit because, you know, the higher the color depth, the more bandwidth that the connection uses. Keyboard layout. I'm going to use English United States, obviously, but if you're in 
a different country or if you use a different keyboard layout, feel free to choose that here. Tap Save. Under Advanced Settings, we can specify our port. I'm going to leave it at port 3389 since that's the common RDP port. You can select console mode. You know, when you connect to a Windows 2003 based server, for instance, you know, normally it just starts up a new session, but maybe you want to connect to the console session. Well, if you flip console mode on, then it will connect you to the console session. Now, remote desktop gateway. If you happen to have a scenario where you don't have a VPN connection from your iPad or you don't allow, you know, general from the internet connectivity through port 3389, which most people won't through their firewall, you might have a RD gateway set up that allows you to use another protocol such as HTTPS. And then you would tap RD gateway and enable it specifying your RD gateway. I do not have an RD gateway, so I'm going to come back and leave that blank. I also don't have network level authentication going on which would again be specific to your network configuration and you know how you implement security. I am going to leave the clipboard turned on and that allows me to cut and paste from my remote session into other sessions. So now that we've configured this, let's go ahead and tap save. And you'll see if I tap my computers again, there's my new connection. So now let's go ahead and connect to that connection we just configured. I'm going to tap it. There it is. I'm going to hit connect. And you'll notice that I get my little waste screen and it's loading. And it's logging on because I entered in all that information. And you can see that's Windows 2003. And I can use my finger. You'll notice along the bottom I have different options for my Pocket Cloud app where I can set it so that I can right click by tapping the little little mouse and then when I tap on something it will do a right click or I can just use the upside down triangle to make that go away so that I can look at my normal taskbar and I'm going to go ahead and tap close so that that closes and when I'm all done using my server I'll tap my start button and a tap is the same as a single left click and I'm going to tap log off and tap log off again and it will log off my server. And you can see that Pocket Cloud tells me, oh, I'm disconnected. Of course you are. I meant for you to be. And that is one of my favorite IT apps. I hope that you download it and check it out and that you find it as useful as I do.